A heart that's full of like a landfill, a job that slowly kills you, bruises that won't heal. You look so tired and happy bring down the government They don't, they don't speak for us I'll take a quiet Life a handshake of carbon monoxide and no alarms and no surprises, no alarms and no surprises, no alarms and no surprises, please. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week, no surprises by Radiohead. As you can see, I'm playing with the capo on the third fret. However, you can move it around anywhere you like. You can play it without the capo. It's really straightforward, and I will show you the entire song. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So as I said, you can start off with or without a capo, and it's just a D chord. Now, there's a number of different ways you can finger this you can you know I play with my thumb Tom York plays it with the D string with his pinky so so we can add that finger in there I like to use my thumb this is a nice little guitar parlor and it's just easy to do that so however you want to place your fingers I'm starting with a D now I'm plucking the top E and the D string and then straight away I'm going to hit that G string. Okay, so it's one and four together, and then three. Then two, and back to three. And again. Okay, and then. So pluck in the third string, the G string, and the top E string, the sixth string together. Then the G string again, but putting your second finger down, well I'm putting my second finger down. And then just B, E, so two and one. So And it doesn't really matter what fingers you use here. People get quite obsessive with it. It's kind of what works for you. Um, if you just want to use the thumb and first finger, that, that works nicely. So however you want to do it, okay? Sometimes I use different fingers, whether I'm holding a pick or not, okay? And then it's just back to that. So there's our little intro. Down, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, so you can kind of do something like that for the um, verses, okay? I'm just holding on a D. This full of like a land fill. Now all I'm doing there, D. And I'm bringing that first finger over to that B note, okay, second fret on the A string, okay. And then it's a E minor, slowly kills you, bruises that won't, or, okay, so I'm going E minor, A, A sus4, and back to D. 
and you can go back to that riff every time. Now if you find it awkward to go straight back to that, you can just... Now if you, if you struggle to do both those positions, okay, if you're a total beginner, you can just do D. And if you were going to play like a G, just don't play the first finger, like the A string, and you just move the third and fourth finger over a string, so it's on the G and B. That sounds really beautiful. So you go from that D. And you see I'm not using my thumb anymore, okay? Just use that third finger. And back to the D, okay? Now the chorus. No alarms and E minor, A. And then A sus4. That just repeats three times. You could do... So I'm, you know, I'm obviously putting a bit of the melody in there. No alarms and no surprises. So I'm just picking out E minor. So I'm going 3, 2, O, oh, and then 3 on the e, uh, B string, sorry. Then A. No surprises. And top E. Repeat that. Okay, so then it just goes into the the next section, which is the uh, the bridge, I guess, or it's like a half verse. This is my final fit, my okay, and then chorus again, and then there's a, a mid late break, and it's just a, and then you can go to that. What I like to do. to do a G minor there, okay, instead of the, playing it there, I like to do G minor bar. Okay, so it goes A G minor twice. You can do sus4, G minor, so that happens twice, and then E minor, and then goes back to pass that G minor again. that's pretty much it enjoy guys so there you have it guys hope you enjoyed this week's lesson please don't forget hit that subscribe button if you like to receive my weekly updates and please remember i don't get paid for these lessons due to copyright but i have set a, a paypal donation button over on my website any loose change you have is massively appreciated and look to everyone that supports me on a regular basis. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I've also got some merchandise for sale over there, some t-shirts, hoodies and things like that. And that just helps me out a little bit. Really appreciate it, guys. Any requests, hit me up over on Instagram and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy.